So my name is Deb Kramer. I'm the executive director with Keep Kite Creek Beautiful, and I'm really excited about the William Street Bridge project that we did with Paul J. Gonzalez this past spring. This bridge was selected because it crosses Coyote Creek and it's got a lot of wildlife and beauty to it. It just needed a little sprucing up. How's it going? I'm Paul J. Gonzalez. We're done. This is it. Awesome. Starting our bridge project took a lot of people, so a lot of different approvals. We had to figure out what was done in the past. And so planning was a really big thing. Last painted in 2008 and it's 2023. That's about 15 years ago. And this project was not just an easy project. This took many people to make this happen. Once people checked in with us, we were able to bring them out for a two hour paint period with Paul. He was great in being able to set up the sites for people to focus on and the colors. And everybody seemed to have a really great day. So we bring the community together to come out for a paint day. And these paint days are a special time for people to come out with their families and slap some paint onto a, a beautiful opportunity like this bridge. Uh, we worked in partnership with Chopsticks Alley so that we were able to have a place for people to come and check in. We have so many people to thank. Nagley Park volunteers and Sheila and Beth. Beth actually helped with the colors and, and selecting uh, historical colors that would work with the neighborhood. Um, Omar Torres disagreed and, his, and Diego who works with them. They were able to power wash the bridge two times before and after and they work with DOT, so a big thanks to them. And also want to mention Chris Carrillo, who was my assistant, who painted actually the coyote, uh, the coyotes on the end. And what we did, we wanted to kind of put an accent on this bridge so that people can see the beautiful historic bridge, along with adding little accents of the coyote creek. As you walk the bridge, there's different types of butterflies. Um, uh, we have a robin bird, and we have the leaves of the trees here. We have water and fish over here. We have the coyotes on the ends, and we put some poppies and even some tracks of some of the animals that actually walk in this creek. We always hear the phrase, it takes a village, and in this case, we had uh, nearly 100 people participate between our paint day and then individuals who came out to help Paul to fine tune and add to this project. One of the best parts about um, working on the bridge here was the community who was passing by and saying how they really enjoyed seeing the process and how they transformed their neighborhood. I'm really proud of the end result. The community really came together to work on this project, to slap on the paint colors that are fabulous and keep within the character of the communities that they surround. An example of one of the beautiful segments that's in the bridge. There was a lot of people to make this happen. My mom helped paint the bridge. My wife helped coordinate directing during the, um, our volunteer. Thank you everybody and I hope the neighborhood will really enjoy this. Peace. It was a terrific opportunity to enjoy the outdoors, nature, and make a difference in the neighborhood.